Hi guys, welcome back. It is Greg Gorilla, and I'm gonna be playing Pokemon Yellow again. So let's start. Um, I have a lot to tell you because, as you'll see, my party has changed. Um, so we're in Pewter City now, and I've been playing with you guys. Well, I've been playing offline, so my team's changed a bit. As you can see, we've got a level 16 Nidorina. She's evolved. Nidoran's evolved. And you can see again, we've got a you know level 16 Nidorina. He's level, he's level 16, and they've both got double kick, which is you know what I need to beat Brock. And you've noticed a new addition. I've got Pidgey. I actually went to the Viridian Forest looking for a Pidgeotto, and could not find one. And then so, I, so I'm like, okay, stuff this. I'll catch a Pidgey. And then as soon as I caught a Pidgey, I found like two wild Pidgeotto, and I'm you know stuff here. So I just train, I trained them. And Pikachu's level 18, which is nice. So right now. Uh, we're gonna head to Brock, we're gonna whoop his ass, and then we're gonna head to Cerulean City. And hopefully I can make it in this video, probably not. Um, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. So Brock, um, yeah, I battled this trainer already. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. But, um, yeah. Okay, so there's, there he is, there's the man himself, the rock hard trainer. Uh, get it, right, anyway. Yeah, I'm Brock, I'm Peter's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Yeah, I still want to challenge you. Hurry up. It's going to be epic, guys. Be so good. Look, there he is. He's got Geodude, just like the TV show. And we're going to whoop his ass. Look at that double kick. Double kick again. Yeah, didn't, didn't kill him, didn't knock him out, but it's a start. And all good things have to start somewhere. So there goes Geodude. And Onyx. I'll switch. And I'll let Nidorino have a shot at Onyx, because... Why not? And look at Onyx. Hello, I'm Onyx. I look so excited. Yeah. So, um, how's everybody been? Oh, well, I hope everybody's been okay, but, um, if you haven't, that sucks. I've been pretty good, as you can see. I've been playing Pokemon, and I'm playing it now while you guys are watching. So hopefully I'm not too boring again, and, yeah. And I've beaten Brock, we'll take that, the boulder badge, and he'll give it to me in a minute. There we go. So, I think I'm going to continue training up Nidorino and Nidorino until I get to Cerulean City, because that's when... Oh, sweet. Thanks, mate. Um, that's when I get um, Charmander and Bulbasaur. I'm not sure where I get Squirtle. I might have to look that up, or you guys can tell me where to get Squirtle from. But, um, yeah, that's a thing. So, I'm going to keep training them, and we beat Brock, and Pikachu should be happy. Oh, he's... Pick up, pick up, pick. You look at look. Oh, he's very happy. You see, you see him jump in the air. Oh, what a feeling! It's Pokemon. And see, I kind of want to come back here later and get an Aerodactyl, but at the same time, I have a feeling there's an item here somewhere. Uh, it's probably here somewhere, but whatever. Uh, hang on. Actually. Nope. It led me astray. I thought there's definitely an item over there. Turns out there's not. So we're gonna go here. And for some reason I thought this was the Pokemon Center, but we will buy some Uh we'll buy Yeah, we'll buy three. Three is the magic number. I might buy about four of these. Some potions. Um, hmm, antidote? Nah. No way. No, I'm just gonna get the Pokemon Center quickly, guys, and heal up, and then we're gonna head to Cerulean City. Hopefully this video doesn't take too long. If it does, well, you just have to watch it. Or you can, you don't have to watch it, but... You know what I mean. And I just realized that I can speed up the game as well. If I hold down spacebar, the game goes faster. But, 
I'll be honest with you, I used that when I was training. Like, I'd battle and I hold space by there, makes it go faster. But at the moment, I'm just gonna play it normally. So... You guys are gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna go over this way. And see, I just changed the green, that's wicked. So now I'm gonna save it, I know. Oh, he's only got one badge. He's got six Pokemon. Five hours, four minutes. And I don't know why I jumped down here. But we're gonna go ahead and battle this trainer. I think she's a lass. She's a wee little lass. Yeah, she's a lass. And she's using a Pidgey. Which is fine because I will use Nidorina. Should be. Yeah. Thought it would have done more damage than that. That's the thing. Oh! And I did some research. Well, it wasn't really weird research because I have a Pidgey of my own. But I had a look at Gust you know, the attack, and for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason in Pokemon Yellow version, Gust is classified as a normal type attack, and not a flying type, which is pretty retarded if you ask me. Um, I figured this out, one, because I've got a Pidgey and I had a look at the attacks, and Gust was classified as a normal type, but then I noticed that also, because when I, um, I trained Pidgey on some, you know, Caterpie and Metapod, and... The attack wasn't super effective. And now the game's flying super effective against um, Bug. So, go figure, eh? So, if you see me not use Pidgey against Bug types, you know why. Gust is not effective on it, it just does normal damage. So, like now. Um, I can't remember if fighting is super effective against Bug in this game. Nope, not very effective at all. Look, okay, I don't remember everything about Pokemon. The majority I remember. Some stuff like that I forget though. And it should take out Caterpie. Indeed it does. Weedle, I will switch. I'll show you what I mean actually. Here, I'll send a PG. Hey, look at Weedle. Oh, isn't it cute? Um, yeah, see look. See how Gust is normal type? Um, which is weird, I'll use it and I'll show you when it's not super effective, as you can hear. Still does decent damage, but now I'm going to get poison. Nope. But, um, yeah, I'll probably be using Quick Attack a lot more. And there go, down goes Weedle. Caterpie, yeah, alright. sure Pidgey can handle a little Caterpillar. And it's funny, because Cricket actually, actually does more damage than Gust in this game. Because it's classified as a physical attack. We're making our way, guys. He likes shorts. He likes short shorts. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's a rat. I feel like this is where Youngster Joey started off. He's like, okay, I'm gonna start off in Kanto, and then I'll make my way to Johto. He's got a Reddita. Ah, oh, yeah. Shit's getting real. Ooh, Ekans. Well, we'll let Nidorino take care of this. And it's cool, because in this, like, Ekans actually looks like Ekans. Whereas in Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red, it doesn't really look like Ekans. It just looks like a snake. Yeah. But Nidor Nidorino or Nidorino is a good choice to battle Ekans at this stage of the game. Even Nidoran is good because poison, they're both poison types and poison attacks don't poison each other. If that makes sense. Um, now this guy... I feel like I should be training someone else, right? And I'll battle, I'll battle everybody here, and I may or may not stop the video at the Mount Moon entrance. I don't think I will. I think I'll make you know. I think I'll make it through, but we'll see. And Nidorino should have no problem there, and he doesn't. Beautiful. Look at that. 
I think we'll let PG level up, because PG evolves at level 18. I always think PG evolved at 16, but... No. This is a sweet 16. Or she. It. Because the only Pokemon in this game that have genders are the Nidorans. Until next gen. And then they all get genders. I think... Yeah, well that's obviously why this generation don't have genders. And next generation has genders. Because there's no daycare. Um in Pokemon Yellow, Blue, or Red. And when I say no daycare, I mean no, no daycare you're able to breed with. Breed in. So like there's a daycare, but you can only send, you know, leave one Pokemon with a dude. So, um, they introduced uh, breeding in Generation 2, which is Silver, Gold, and Crystal. Yeah. So that's why genders were introduced later on. Which makes sense, I guess. Although I kind of wonder, because genders weren't introduced into a later generation, Pikachu was made as made out to be as a you know made out to be a male, like in the show, and I'm pretty sure he is male. Obviously, well, he is a male. But then, as the generations went on, you know, you found out that Chikorita, Ash's Chikorita, was a, a female. I think the majority of his Pokemon are male. I think this he only has one female. Which is Chikorita. I could be wrong. I'm sure one of you guys will correct me. So leave, a, leave comments down below. Does Ash have any other female Pokemon apart from Chikorita? Because that's an interesting one. I feel like he doesn't, though. Pretty sure he only has males. He's a sexist bastard. That's what he is. He's sexist. And look at this guy. Oh, he was looking the other way. He's like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. A little you. Pikachu first. Um, no. Yeah, no Pidgey. You're very pretty. Let's do it. We're gonna try and get a Pidgeotto. We are gonna try for a Pidgeotto. Do do do. Little lass. Do do do. And like like I said in my, I think my very first video, I think it was, that um Jesse and James are in this game. And I'll be coming up on them soon-ish. Towards the end of Mount Moon is where they are. But I can't remember, like, throughout the other stages of the game, whether you find them in locations that are based around the anime. See, I don't know if you, um... Who are they sitting here? I don't even know. I need a rant. Um, I don't know if you encounter them at the Silco building. Where all the other Team Rocket grunts are. I suppose you would, because they're Team Rocket, but... Who knows? Who knows? Well, people that have played the game know. I don't know. Yeah, so that's that. Beat her too very easily. She did. And gonna battle him. Yeah, deep breaths. Do do do. It's so catchy. Um. And I say um a lot, um, um, um. But down here, I think in the grass, there are some... Jigglypuff. Which, yeah. Jigglypuff, guys. Jigglypuff all the way. And we should be okay against Metapod. I love battling Cocoons. And between, between Metapod and Cocooner, you know, it's great. It's easy, easy experience. Oh, wow. Unless you miss like that, that's, um... That is something else. Very, yeah. So that should do it. It should do it. And we've beaten the bug catcher. Done like dinner. Pikachu should be pretty happy. Oh, yeah, he's, he's very happy. Um, we'll keep going. Keep on keeping on. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh god. Uh, see, yeah, Jigglypuff. Well, you can find Jigglypuff in the grass, but she has a Jigglypuff too. Now... 
I'm gonna use send attack because I'm pretty sure it has sing. Yeah. And what I want to end up doing is switching over to one of the Nidorans. Fair enough. But I want to switch to one of the Nidorans because double kick would just yeah. Double kick would just absolutely own that. Didn't affect me. This should damage it. Yeah, severely. The one, th the one thing I never knew, like in this generation, like and in the current generation, but I never knew that um, Jigglypuff, Clefairy, and even like and Snorlax at this stage were actually quite good. They actually have a very high, you know, base HP, um, and I never knew that. And I always thought, oh, why, why would I have Snorlax in my team? You know, he's useless, but he is very strong. So uh, you don't want to battle me. So that's an interesting thing to to note. Now, was there an item here? Oh, I can't remember. Cannot remember at all. And this woman got hit by a Geodude. Yeah. Geodude stuffed her shit up. So we're going to go in here. And we're going to heal. Now I can go and talk to the old man, he's, I think he's over near the PC. And he gives you a magic up in other generations, I'm not sure if he gives you a magic up in this generation. But it's like $500 for it. And... Like the advantage of getting a magic cup this early is you can level it up. Yeah, see this guy? Yeah, no, no thanks. Um, but yeah, it's good having him this early because you can level him up early and you can have a Gyarados by the time... You know, like, if you train it well, you can have it by the time you battle Misty. Um... Oops. But, you wouldn't pay 500 bucks for it, for it when you can just get a rod and fish for it. So we're gonna venture into... Mount Moon. And it's a lot... Browner than I remember it being. Hey, hey buddy. Hey, dude. Mind if I just, uh, run away? Cheers. You are a legend. And I'll be scouring around looking for TMs. Now I can't remember what that TM does. That one's bide. Water gun. Who can learn water? <laughs> need arena and need arena, obviously. That's cool. That that doesn't happen in blue version. The, so everything is different. I'm excited about this. I actually oh yep. Yeah. And so it begins. I'm excited about playing, and then you see a Zubat, and you just get out of here. Just, just die. Don't want... Okay. No supersonic. No supersonic is good supersonic. Ah, shh. Well. Accidentally pushed A. <sighs> Look. I did not intend to do that. There we go. Finished him off, finally, about time. Got you. Level 18. We are gonna get a Pidgeotto. Sit back and relax, guys. Look at this. Shh, it's evolving. Oh, look at that badass. One more one more evolution and it's gonna be Bird Jesus. And I just referenced Twitch Plays Pokemon Hair. Yeah. Bird Jesus. That's funny. Okay. Turns out Pikachu's up next. Which I gotta say, this would be a good training ground for Pikachu because Zubats are part flying. And I'll bet all this guy, and I bet she has Geodude. And he did mention about sus 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 yeah. suspicious men in the cave. I wonder who they could be. Pika. Pikachu, go, Pikachu, go, Pikachu, wow. Pikachu, OP. Overpowered. Uh, yeah, let's go Thundershock. Just, just, what? well, that works too. I love it, I love it when you get critical hits, it's the best. You just, you, I did get you. You're very observant, you'd be happy about that. Pika Pika, see? 
And this woman had clefairies, I think. I think she had clefairies. I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Well... You may be waiting a while. Uh, I called it. I absolutely 100% called it. I knew she had a Clefairy. Which is always nice to guess the Pokemon that they have. Because, um, yeah, like, like I've mentioned before, in Pokemon Blue and Red, um, the Pokemon are a lot more different than these ones. Like, I mean, this, this last here, she has a Clefairy in the other one, but that other dude, that Bug Catcher, he doesn't have Weedles, I think he has Caterpie or Metapod. And the item down there that was Water Gun, I think it wasn't Water Gun in the other one, I think it was like Bubble Beam or something. But, we're gonna keep going. Save the game. And just so you know, I'm gonna do this whole place now, actually, I'm gonna um, explore it all, I'm gonna get all the items, I'm gonna beat this nerd. I think he's a nerd, or is it, he's a toxic man. Yeah, he's a nerd. Nerd. Me. Oh, and yeah, something I will mention as well, Magnemite. So what would you do in this situation, right? You're thinking, ah, oh, it's, it's electric steel. Ah, uh, I've got something for you. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ah, uh, you see? It's not a steel type in this generation. The steel, the steel typing did not get attributed to Magnemite until Fire Red and Leaf Green, I'm sure, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's when he got its um, steel typing, but in this one he's just pure electricity. Pure, unadulted electricity. And we're gonna let the Nita, the Nita Rans, or Nita Renos. Oh well. On the tech win. Well, nice. Good job, Nidorino. Good job. Yeah. So I've, be I've beaten him. And there's an item here, and what is it? Is a potion. And there should be one here somewhere. And there should be a red, re a red. Rare candy. Hey look! It's a Zubat. Scratch. And for some reason I feel like Tackle does more damage than Scratch. Well hey, we're gonna stick with Scratch. Oh yeah, and... I think they changed it. I'm not sure if Leech Life in this was a bug type move. I'm pretty sure it is. But Bug was super effective against Poison for some reason. As you saw, it was super effective. We're gonna switch it around a bit. Pikachu. This should be a red candy. Yeah. Also, I know I talk a lot, but the thing I do, in, like I try to do in these games, is whatever Pokemon I start off with. So in this case, I started off with Pikachu. I try to keep my starter Pokemon at least two levels higher than the rest of them. I don't know why. It's just something about your starter. You know, you sort of feel that they should be a bit stronger than your rest of your team. Found a red candy, which I may use on Pidgeotto because I'm lazy, but no, we'll keep it for now. We will keep it. I don't know where I'm going. I'm feeling I've just battled that guy, but whatever. Yeah. At this stage of the game, I definitely feel so, like, too overpowered. My Pokemon are too, too high. Look, level 19. Oh, no, I haven't battled him. I'll battle him in a minute. Get this item. Hey, buddy. Hey, Geodude. We are running away. That's an es escape rope. Is this guy a youngster or a bug catcher? What do you guys reckon? I reckon he's a bug catcher. They're everywhere. Yes, look at that. What a guess. Catch you. Oh wait, that's double team. I thought it was quick attack. I thought it was quick attack. I made a huge mistake. Uh oh. 
There we go. I've rectified my mistake. That was absolutely part of the plan. Every bit of it. Nothing, um... Nothing out of the ordinary there. We, we won it. We didn't need to worry about what moves I used. Uh, who should we use? Nidorina. You go, girl. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Funny. Scratch. Metapod is getting harder. Man, taken out of context, that sounds absolutely disgusting. But hey, he's um, he's got a gun for him. Good, good for him. Well, he had it going for him. Oh yes, level 80 is nice. I think Nidorino can have a go. Ah, uh, wrong attack, but hey, it should be a one-shot hit now. Watch this. One hit. One hit. Look at that. Sucks that I didn't level up, but hey, we won. I won. We won. Zubat is tough, but it can be useful if you can catch it. How can, it, how can something like that be useful? Unless it evolves into Golbat and then Crowbat. There, there, speak, speak of the devil. Here's Zubat. Well, I suppose it is useful to Pikachu, because free experience. Uh, where am I? Where? Okay, I'm gonna go down that ladder. Ooh, a sentry. I don't think you can catch them in the in the cave. Um, running away. I think we can catch them in the cave in... Oh god, I missed a letter. In Pokemon Blue and Red. I knew I should have stocked up in Repels. Zubat, and Zubat, and Zubat, and Sentry, and Geodude, and Zubat, and Zubat. We're gonna keep going. Keep going. Well... That was short-lived. Run away from that, and we're gonna keep going. And Pikachu's. Is Pikachu happy? Oh, yeah. Pikachu's very happy with me. Beautiful. That's how we like it. We, um, oh. Damn these bats. There's actually. It's been out for ages. There's actually a meme going around. Like, it's still going around, but it's ages ago. And there's a guy. Um. I think it's a meme. He's got like he's his Mount Moon or whatever, and he's at, he's outside the cave, and then he takes he he takes one step in the cave, and then on the, the next picture is like all these Zubat have jumped on top of him. It's it, literally that's what this is. Zubat. I don't know what they call Zubat. They don't live in a zoo. You know, they, they're just bats. You call them blue bats. Because they're blue, but they're not, they don't live in a zoo. Why are they called zoo bats? Who knows? And this is my first Team Rocket dude that I'm fighting. Uh, that's double team. We're not going to make that mistake again. Well, turns out Quick Attack did do something. It actually did a substantial amount of damage to a Pokemon with high, this high defense this early on. But. We are going to switch to Nidorina. Place all my faith into you. Double kick. Again. Yay! Woohoo! Woohoo! Nidorina can keep this up. He's got a Rattata. Rat... Rattata? Rat... Rat See, I feel like it's Ratata. Rat Tata. Rat Tata? I'd say. Guys. We're getting too old for this. No, we won't change. Don't change. Never change who you are. Supersonic, and it missed. This could be the luckiest run through this cave ever. 
without getting hit by a single supersonic. Congratulations, Nidorina. What do you got to say for yourself? Darn it all, my associates will stand for this. Cool, man. Probably won't stand for it, but you're gonna have to. Because I'm gonna beat every one of you. So we're gonna go over here and grab this. Hit point up. And we go down, and there's another Zubat. I wonder if I have a repel. I probably should have bought one from the shops. Super effective. You are dead. I wonder. I don't think I have a repel. No, but I will use this. Who's got the lowest HP? Well, Pikachu has. So I guess we use it on Pikachu and try to help. But, um, yeah. God. Oh, oops. I pushed spacebar by accident and we sped up a little bit. Um, I'm not trying to. I did it by accident. So I was trying to push B, which is X. And we're going to keep going. Keep on moving. Through this tunnel. Wow. Just, just wow. You couldn't... Oh. Well, that's a welcome sight. Something different other than a Zubat. Because they're everywhere. Oh, I'm out of here, man. Cool, dude. So we're going to save it here. I'm going to keep going. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It might be a while. Um, oh, we're only here. I actually might end it pretty soon because I think I feel like this has been going for a while. Me being stupid, I haven't kept track of how, how long it's gone for. So I'm going to defeat this Zubat. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Go up here. Battle, I'll battle her, and then after this, I reckon it's a good place. Beat this Oddy. Shpika. Uh, well. Well. I'll we'll use Nidorina. And. Pidgey, Pidgey can't do the job. Pidgeotto can't do the job. Doesn't have any flying attacks. Which kinda sucks. And Nidorina apparently missed. Apparently missed. So we're gonna tackle instead. Oh wow! This weed is giving me... Giving me a right old run for my money. Heh, <laughs> weed. Blah 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 weed! Any of you guys used to watch Bill and Ben, the Flower Pot Men? Yeah, those are the days. Blubba dubba weed. <laughs> but let we should, should be honest though, Oddish is a weed. Look, look, I mean, look at that face. He's pretty much, he's high all the time. He sniffs himself and he gets high. Hey oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll switch. Let's see if Pidgeotto can do it. See, Gust is normal type. But yeah, my Pokemon are way too overpowered at this stage of the game. I did some pretty intense training when I was off. Um, so this, I, think, I reckon this is a good place to stop the video. Well, let me just save it first. Um, so we've gone... I wouldn't say even a quarter of the way. We're, so, yeah, so um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, at the moment we're in Mount Moon and we're going to continue on in the next part. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support as again, as, as of last video, I said it last time, but thank you very much for liking and subscribing. Um, yeah, so uh, have, a have a great time, have a great day, enjoy life, and we will be back here with Pikachu.